Uh, let's run another example. Um, never met a never met a sample that uh, or <laughs> never met a uh, setup. Uh, couldn't uh, do another example on. I think what I'm trying to sort of make is some sort of joke about like, you know, this is a problem so nice we had to do an example twice. I guess that's really what I should have said. I should practice uh, a little bit before I try to make these videos. Um, who knows, maybe this is like the fifth take and I uh, dumped all the other ones. In any event, um, let's work with same kind of setup, right? We're up, we get the phase shift going out. I wanted to do a shift to the left. Um, that's going to uh, have a little bit of an impact, obviously. Um, and so I wanted to make sure we've sort of seen that uh, in these examples before we move along. Uh, I also put in a, an A value here, so I've got three in front. Um, it's going to affect our amplitude, right? It'll affect our, our maximums and minimums, but it's not really going to affect um, anything as far as the stuff on the inside, which is, is either compressing or expanding the cycle and then shifting us, in this case, to the left. Um, so let's run everything through. Our A value here is 3. So that means our amplitude is 3. It's a positive, right? I mean, in theory, right, this is the absolute, but we know it's positive, so we'll just write it that way. So our maximum and minimum values are going to happen at plus minus 3. Um, this is just a positive 3 in front, um, so we're still going to have our usual pattern, the middle, the max, the middle, the minimum, and then back to the middle. Um, Next, let's deal with uh, cycle length. So our B value here is one quarter. So what that means for us is our period is supposed to be two pi divide by one quarter. If I divide by one quarter, I'm really sort of flipping and multiplying by four over one. Um, this is kind of good news, right? So we're gonna get eight pi to deal with. So this is sort of uh, has the sort of sniffing distance to a whole number uh, rather than having to do everything with fractions. Um, if I look at my, well, we'll save that till we do the, the points. I think that works. Um, the C value in this case is positive pi over two. Um, so this is gonna be a shift left by C over B. So pi over two, and then that's divided by one quarter. So that's a stack, right? But we're gonna flip and multiply. And so this ends up at, so the pi over two times four over one, this is gonna end up being a shift to the left by two pi. Um, so what the heck does that mean? If I shift left, so what's my first point? Well, it, it would have been zero. If I move it to the left, I'm actually gonna subtract two pi off of this. So I'm gonna start at negative two pi. From there, right, I'm gonna to have to add, so for x2 to x5, we're gonna add a quarter cycle, p over four. So that would be eight pi over four, which is two pi. So we're gonna add in chunks of two pi. So the whole thing, right, it's sort of one quarter x, which means we've sort of slowed our um, frequency down uh, to a quarter speed, so then the whole cycle now takes four times as long, right? It takes eight pi to get through the cycle. Um, if we take a cycle and break it into quarters, we're gonna end up with two pi chunks. So if we keep it going, so x1 is here, x2, so negative two pi, and then we're gonna add the two pi to it. The math here is a little bit nice. So that's just going to be 0, x3, so 0 plus 2 pi, well that's 2 pi, uh, and then these go pretty fast, right, when they're not fraction values, if we're just sort of adding and subtracting, you know, these whole number kind of looking values, right, by 2 pi, uh, each time it just makes the math go a little bit faster. So the trade-off here is if I have a bunch of fractions on the inside, I'm actually more likely to get whole number type values for my like x coordinates. So I guess that's good. Last but not least, right, four pi plus two pi. So that's gonna be six pi. 
Uh, let's put together the table. My X and Y values. <laughs> uh, so where do we start? Negative 2 pi, right? So the whole cycle is 8 pi long, but we shifted it left by 2 pi. Um, so 2 pi is here. 0 is the next point. Positive 2 pi. 4 pi. And then 6 pi. Pattern, same as it's been. A middle, a max back to the middle, down to a minimum, and then we'll finish where we started in the middle. My middle value is 0, 0, 0. And then we said way back at the beginning our amplitude was 3, so we're going to have maximums and minimums at positive, negative 3. And from there we can take that and we can graph it. Um, gosh, let's do... Scale this a little bit. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Maximums, mins there. Um, what are we working with here? So our, our quarter cycles, right? You want to kind of at least do tick marks based on that. So so a quarter cycle here was every two pi. So I guess we'll use that for our mark. So if I say where do we start? Negative 2 pi? So maybe negative 2 pi is here. This would be 4 and negative 6. So this would be positive 2 pi. This would be 4 pi. 6 pi. 8 pi. Uh, right? 10, 12, yada, yada, yada. Um, this one's going to look a little bit different when we graph it relative to sort of what we do because we're not um, well, what's happening is we're sort of starting to the left of the vertical axis. So we're actually starting right at the negative 2 pi, and then at, at 0, we're sort of up at our maximum value. Then here's our middle, or the middle is here, and 4 pi is going to be one of our minimums. So this is kind of up, down through, back up. That's another semi decent curve. Uh, obviously limited a little bit by my uh, somewhat inconsistent scaling. We kept this going, right? We'd have a minimum back here. Hit the middle here, and so on and so forth. Uh, coming up. Back down and through. So this is going to be y is positive 3 times the sine of what was in the middle here? 1 quarter x, and this is plus pi over 2. So that's going to be our graph. So our sort of, you know, what was a 0 to 2 pi um, gets stretched out and then it gets shifted. So that sort of becomes this negative 2 pi to 6 pi um, initial thing. That's going to be our graph. So there you go. Um, we have sort of one more modification to do. Um, that was sort of a, a shift left and right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to shift up and down. But that's going to be uh, a little bit shorter. Coming up next.